I taught Risk Intermediate to be a professional 1v1 France player. So first of all these they're the settings we were using. He already had some prior knowledge by watching my 1v1 videos. And before starting the game I handed him the France Territories Disconnection Map which showcases the Territories Connection Rating, and explained him that he must prioritize picking the Territories with the lowest connection numbers assuming they do not block you in an important way, and France is the map in which basically all of the low number territories will be good territories to choose, so that's very easy to learn and nothing complicated here. And his first game territory selection was very good as I didn't have any completely safe spot to add my army to, only semi-safe ones. With him adding his biggest army to either one of these territories, he would have been able to access all of my territories except these two. Or with him adding his army to this territory he would have been accessible to all of my territories except this one. But the biggest intermediate's flaw was to split his troops into three different armies. Usually you would like to add your troops to only one army and try to predict in your opponent's stack. So as you can see I've got a very good attacker's advantage crushing his 13 troops army, and with me capturing all of those territories, his 7 troops army just wasn't enough to make a comeback at all. So this is what I told him after the game was ended. And this is the second game, this time I was going first one intermediate, second, and comparing his territory selection with the first game, this time it wasn't as good. Because as the second player he would like to create some spots for his army where I wouldn't potentially be able to crush it. But as you can see with me adding my army into this territory, it had the access to all of my opponent's territories. So I ended up crushing his army getting a very good attacker's advantage, and from then easily winning the game. So what I told that as the second player in the territory's picking stage he would like to create some spots of a territory which would be completely surrounded by the territories of mine, these could be potential his army spots as the second layer to hide from me. Though if there's only one, then it could be obvious for me, so ideally he would like to create a few such spots if possible. And judging by the third game it seemed he really understood what I was explaining to him as in this game his territory selection was perfect. I didn't have any safe territory to add my troops to, as with my opponent adding his army to this territory he had the access to absolutely all of the territories of mine. He crushed my army getting a very favorable attacker's advantage and from then I had nothing better to do but just to surrender. And this is the fourth game. This time I managed to select my territories better and to not make all of them accessible with my opponent putting his army to one specific territory. The most disconnected place for me to add my army to was this territory, but by previously telling him that such a territory could be very obvious, I decided to rather add my army to somewhere else in the map. But luckily for my opponent he predicted my stack right, but the most unfortunate thing for him was to get the worst blitz roll ever. The success rate was even 94%, meaning that he only had 6% to lose that blitz roll and this is what happened. And I don't feel very happy winning this game, as the intermediate should have definitely been the one who was deserved to win. He had to go to bed, so it was the last game we played. But from what it looked he really mastered France map for 1v1 world domination games and could really easily reach the grand master rank with it if wanting. And so can you. France is probably the most beginner friendly map which is very easy to learn. And for more 1v1 tips and tricks I would recommend you checking out the 1v1 strategy tips playlist but like mentioned the France map with these settings could be a really good beginning to start your 1v1 games journey.